guys welcome to another tutorial video on my youtube channel my name is mr olo and this is vix tutorials so in today's tutorial video we'll be working on a very very simple straightforward design that i got from a youtuber called dupe motion so he posted this particular design on his youtube channel sorry on his uh, instagram page and i love the process he did it and but the funny thing was he did it in photoshop yes he did it in adobe photoshop so here yeah, i'm going to be teaching us how we can get the design in Corredro in simple steps like this is something that many designers or many Corredro users find it difficult to get in Corredro because they feel it is impossible to actually get something of this nature in Corredro so i'm going to be teaching us how we can get this simple design in Corredro so without further ado let's jump right in Okay, so now we are here in Corredra and as we can see on our screen, we can see that we have our resources that we'll be using. So it is not going to be a very serious tutorial. I, I won't really put it in a serious tutorial, but it's not going to take much of our time. It's just uh, a tutorial to teach us a few things or uh, uh, tricks we can implement in Corredra to make us have that Photoshop feel. Like some things that people in Photoshop do, we're going to learn how to do like their blend mode especially. We're going to see how we can implement that in Corredra. So now we have our resources, we have the ladies image and we have our rough hood or rough background and we have the color palette we're going to be using. So to make this thing, uh, you know, to, to get ahead of this thing, we need to create our base background. And for those of us who already know uh, me on this channel, you'll get to know that on this my channel, I love creating my base background, especially when I'm working in Powerplay because I love exporting in PNG. So we're going to create our base background. So I'm just going to come over here to my L uh, rectangle tool and I'm going to create our base background. And then I'm going to make a gradient from this base background. So I'm going to go over to my interactive field tool or you can just tap the G on your keyboard to activate the interactive field tool. This is the tool you use in creating gradients in Corel Draw. So I'll just tap on it. And as you can see, we can see that the, the gradient is, um, is going this way. Like it's been, uh, well, I call it is like let me say it is horizontal so we're going to go about it this way as you can see we have done this part so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here okay we tap on this black spot we're going to tap on this black spot and we're going to select this and instead of us going stressing ourselves to start looking for the color that is going to match this uh this particular color we just come over to our color eyedropper and we select this one and it is being applied then we're just going to come over here okay and then we're going to tap on this and go over here select the color eyedropper and tap on this and our gradient is applied so we're just going to do a bit of uh, adjustment maybe something like this nature and i think this is okay so we're just going to adjust it a little and there we go our gradient is created so the next step is to create this circle now okay and blend it together now in photoshop they call it blend mode but in Corel draw they call it the merge mode that is the difference the merge mode is the blend mode in Corel draw so uh so now the next thing we're going to do is up we need to create a circle first because we're going to put in this this particular lady's image inside of the circle so we are going to draw a circle so let me quickly outline it white so that we can see the circle properly first so we're going to put it at the middle with control with e so let's let's say we increase this a little and then maybe shift it in a bit maybe let's reduce it a little bit more then shift it in and i think this is okay now we're going to make a duplicate of this lady but before we make a duplicate let's go ahead first we're going to take this lady okay and we are going to park clip her in here now in Corel, they call it power clipping okay but in photoshop it's called the creating of clip mask or clipping mask or <laughs> something of that nature so that's what we're going to do so we're just simply going to uh extend a picture like make it enlarge it so that it can cover up the whole of the circle something of this nature something of this nature yes then we're going to exit our part now let's remove that our outline I think we are already getting it. So now we have that. So yes, we are heading there. Now, in order to create this particular effect that we have here, in order to create this effect, the way it is, um, it kind of blend with the color or the gradient of the background, 
what you need to do is you have to convert this lady's image to you have to desaturate it that is make it a black and white so before we do that we're going to create a duplicate of this circle you create a duplicate and keep it aside just in case and like i always say always make a duplicate of intricate aspect of your design just in case you make a mistake you won't go and you won't start you know the whole thing from the beginning again you just know that okay you just you know you just make use you just make use of the duplicate you've already created and you know get it started from there so we're going to go into our power clip or like the clip marks and then we're going to tap on the image and then we're going to go back to effects so we go to adjust and we desaturate it you go back to desaturate and it becomes a black and white and we can exit okay now why i did this it's not that you cannot work it's not that it can't work if it was in maybe if you left the image colored but to really give it that mode that okay it blended with the background you have to desaturate it make it a black and white so that whatever effect you're going to be adding it will properly you know it will properly uh, uh let's say the merge mode or the blend mode that you'll be applying would actually make sense and work properly so now we've done that the next thing we're going to do is you can't actually blend this for example now if you go to our transparency because to blend it now we have to go to our transparency and we go back to our uh merge mode like i can see it in uh, in Corel, it's called merge mode in photoshop it's called blend blend mode so we go to our mode and we are going to use multiply now you can see that it didn't work you can see it didn't work so in order for us to actually make it work in order for us to make it work we have to first of all convert this uh this um you know this our clipping mask or this our power clips uh you know stuff you have to convert it into a bitmap so we tap on it and we go to bitmap and we convert to bitmap i like converting mine at a very high dpi you know that is to enable it to retain some good quality so i click on ok and then our stuff is going to be converted to bitmap that means it's no longer just going to be an object so it's not going to be the image within an object but it's just going to be as if everything this whole uh circle is now a single object oh sorry the whole circle is now an image oh, you understand me it's now an image. sorry about that so now after we've done this now we can now go to our transparency we just tap on it we're not going to do a sort of transparency no we are not transparency anything then we go over here to effects sorry we go to our merge mode and then we multiply and there we have it it has worked perfectly so the next thing to do now is to bring in our text so we are going to write classic events so we're going to go back to our text tool and we're going to write classic events classic events then full stop so we are going to increase it and bring it in here then we reduce this the, the, the spacing come over to our shape tool and just drag it this way and our stuff is reduced then let's make this um let's make this extra bold so let's make it i'm using the plus jakarta sans extra bold uh -huh. sorry and uh if you want to follow along with this tutorial the resources will be made available in the description of this uh in the description of this particular video so just go to the description area and see the link to download the resources if you want to flow along including the font the images and the color palette will be made available to you same thing with the background this is our squeezed paper background so now we have this and we're just going to create a line you know a sort of um to highlight or should i say to give you some sort of highlight so we just come over to our right angle to and we draw a simple straight line and then we can color it yellow then as you can see the last dot is just colored yellow so we just select only that one and we give it the yellow color then we have the host as by rose limbird so we are going to let's say we're going to select this and we're going to reduce it a little and we are going to say by rosaline lane bad so we are just going to copy and paste so you could give it your own name so let's say by ama ama mary then we are going to increase the line space a little bit then we are going to come over here to the font and we're going to reduce the font width to let's say medium and then we are going to reduce it and put it somewhere here and put it somewhere here 
Then this is okay. So this is cool. So let's group them together. And we can increase a little bit and put it at the middle. And that is it. So the next step is the uh the website. So we just need to copy this armor, copy, paste, control C, control V, or command C control V. Then we are going to put it W dot eventers dot com then we are going to increase the font weight to maybe bold now one thing many designers need to note is that when you're working on the design i always tell my students and i always tell designers every time any day always try as much as possible to stick to one font It's very very important stick to one font don't get no don't don't fill your design with lots of fonts and just spread it across everywhere no stick to one font is very very important so we're going to make a duplicate here or no we're going to make this and maybe a sort of the logo that is being in a sort of word mark so we're going to call it what is this bring it fresh bring it fresh then we are going to reduce it Maybe it's a sort of maybe a podcast or an event. So we're going to give some space in a little bit. And there we go. So let me try and get this appropriately. Group. And there we go. So the last final part, which is this our rough paper, is to give it that rough feel, that rough background feel. So we're just going to take this and put it at the middle. Now it's behind, so we're going to press shift page up to bring it to the top. For those of you using Photoshop, the tutorial or for the, 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 the Photoshop tutorial version will be coming soon. So now we have this. Now we already have this right here. So the next step to take is to go over the same thing we did with this uh, circle. We go over to, um, to our transparency tool. We go over to the merge mode and we click on multiply. And there we go. Now you can work on the transparency. If you don't want it to be too sharp, you can work on the transparency. Or rather, let's just leave it this way. And there you go. Our design is ready for exports and for distribution. So this is how you can create this very simple design in Corridor using merge mode, which the Photoshop users call the blend mode. And for our subscribers out there who will be more interested in the Photoshop version, the tutorial video, Will be coming soon so that is how we can create this in photoshop simple sorry in Corel draw simple straight to the point and you can see that you don't really need to cry much that you can actually get what photoshop users are getting with the blend mode you can actually get something like that with you know with the Corel draw with Corel draw if you know your workings or your way around so i'll be seeing you guys in my next tutorial video and until next time stay safe and stay healthy and if you love this video, please hit the like button. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do that as this helps us to grow. Please and also help us to share this video to other creatives, to your community, so that they can also learn as you learned here today. If you want to improve your skills in graphic design, click on any of the video showing on your screen. And until next time, be creative. Namaste.